Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my name. This is Mario back from Terraria. I know I haven't put up, you know, some Terraria in a while. Um, just taking a small break, but we will be back with more frequent episodes and really good timing. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, and I'm pretty sure most of you who actually do watch my Terraria have noticed, and for sure you have given me links and telling me about all the new stuff that they have put in the new update. Um, the update came a day after this video got recorded, so the 9th yeah okay so on the 9th they added um, version 1.2.4 now don't worry i'm not going to spend the whole episode talking about the update though i will be talking about the change log and the things i'm really excited about you remember last episode um i was trying to summon the twins um uh, but i couldn't because it was morning so you can see the sun on the top right slowly going down we'll wait till it's night time and we have an okay place to actually fight sure it's gonna be really close to my area i think this is gonna be okay uh, my first time fighting him so wish me luck but until night time let's read the change log and wonder just what's gonna happen so it's called update 22 1.2.4 i talked about that um the first thing is in features and the mechanic section you can now get quests from the angler npc for cool rewards each time you complete a quest the ward progressively gets better now, um, I don't have this particular NPC, but from the name, I'm guessing the angler NPC is some type of fishing NPC. And um, I am not entirely sure if fishing was in the game already, but from this next little update thing, I think it wasn't. It says you can now use critters as bait for fishing. Uh, remember, you can you, they, uh, in two patches before this one, they added where you can actually catch bugs and stuff like that i've done some of that so i can keep them in jars looks like we can use them now for bait uh, i'm not sure if you can like put a rabbit on a hook or anything but i'm pretty sure if you get like bugs or something maybe even worms you can throw them and get fish uh, how is fishing going to work i'm not entirely sure um so let me know guys has fishing always been in here or was it this recent update i'm pretty sure you can fish you know off the coast of the world all the way at the end and or if you just have uh, some kind of pond there it could be like minecraft where you can't see the fish but you randomly pick it up anyway you get rewards and what kind of progressively rewards no clue it could be money or something like that Almost nine time, but let's keep talking about the change log. Um, you can now ride around in style on the new minecart system. That sounds amazing. That will help indefinitely getting around this world. Um, I have to figure out exactly how to craft it. I'm pretty sure you got to use iron. So I will go to the crafting guide and look up that. But yeah, minecart system sounds great. Um, beaches no longer feel so empty. Beaches, um, people might confuse them with deserts. It's just sand, but it's at the ends of the world. So it doesn't feel any empty. Now here's another thing I was wondering, do you in fact have to make a new type of world to experience all of this stuff? Um, if they said it doesn't feel so empty, what does that mean? The coral there, new types of monsters, um, if there are any new types of creatures or anything like that, sure, we can probably um, just, you know, have them spawn in this world. But if, it, if it's anything world generation, unless they have done something to my save file, I think we might have to make a new world to find out what it is. Anyway, um, there's not a huge change log <coughs> detailing that. All right, truffle worms now spar uh, spawn in hard mode mushroom biomes. So truffle words, truffle worms. Sorry, I can now get it. Be wary using this bait near the ocean. Truffle worms. So if you use these near the ocean, it gives you very very vague thing. Anyway, more change log to talk about. But for now, we're gonna fight the twins. Activate it. Activate it. Activate it. Activate it. Is it not night yet? Or do I have to be in the biome? Okay, I'm gonna guess we have to be in the biome. I'm gonna keep clicking on it, but we probably have to run all the way to the left, right? To activate it, like in the corrupt. So I'm gonna go test that out. I'm gonna keep clicking along the way though. But yeah, I'm really curious to see why that didn't work. I thought it was night, but I guess we have to go over there. So if indeed the night doesn't work, I'm gonna, you know, I, I promised you guys a big twins fight. So I will be looking it up uh, if I can't, in fact, summon these guys, the twins, um, in the corrupt biome. So here we are. So here we are on the biome, and I'm doing whatever I can. Mechanical eye, I'm activating it. It's not working. All right. So destroy that guy. What's that? Oh, life regeneration. Oh, there it is. The twins have awoken. Okay. Um. Um. Iron skin potion. Whoa! Balls. Oh. Wow. 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 Okay. This is new. This is new. This is new. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. All right. These guys are fast. These guys are really fast. Let's stay out of the range. Okay, so if I hit them, I do get some pretty good health resistance. I hope I have enough bullets for this. They look like to have, they look like, well, their armor seems to be greatly enhanced, but most importantly, H. Oh, Jesus, monkeys. 
Alright, this is a, this will be a tough fight. I'm not gonna lie, guys. You guys were right about these bosses, but I'm gonna try my best here. Um, luckily, we do have the armor, which indeed increases our health regeneration upon hitting a monster. We have to focus on one, right? So let's do the right one. Oh my god, I'm getting really, really hurt. I'm gonna focus on dodging more than actually hitting them. Um, let's run all the way to the right. Oh shit, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ooh. So, it, okay, so good news is it was really, really easy to craft it, but... Oh, oh I don't think I can survive this. Um, if I can make it back to the nurse, perhaps that, will, that that she will save me. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Back to the nurse, get back to the nurse. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, nurse, 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 nurse. Ow. Okay. Back home. This is it, guys. Am I going to make it? I got like one hit left. Ah, ah. Duck, duck, duck. No. Oh! <laughs> I got killed by Retinazer. Holy crap. Whew. That was my first ever interaction with the twins. And by God, were they difficult. Um, like I said, I don't know if I needed to be in that exact biome. I think it just wasn't pure night yet. Let me see if there's a clock in my equipment. Oh, man. Let's see exactly what time it is. So equipment. Do we have a clock? Or did I use it already? Oh my god, those guys are difficult. Here's a gold watch. Let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, it is now 9 p.m. So I think maybe I just had it to wait until 7 or 8 for them to pop up. It did seem a little bit early, so yeah. Um, holy crap, they killed me. Alright, now I'm going to ask you guys really, really, really tips. Some more tips. Just how do I beat these guys? I know I said like, you know, I want to find out firsthand and that was it. I was not expecting, well, I said twins, but I didn't know it was going to be two giant eyeballs. Um, so yeah, um, let's look at some new items, but definitely I want to drop the subject of the twins and I want to let you guys help me out as much as you can. Um, more helpful tips upon beating them. I know, okay, definitely better weapons, better armor, but you know, just more dodging wise. I didn't okay amount of running away and dodging. Um, I almost made it as a gold bear, I know. Um, I, if I made it back to Carly, I most likely would have been able to heal, and that would have greatly, greatly helped. I'm thinking maybe I can grab this Carly girl, and throw her, and actually make her like a house or something right here. Wouldn't that be great? Alright, uh, hear me out, hear me out. M make a small house that is really, really easy accessible that I could jump in and heal and assign it to just her. Would that work out? Like, is that a good strategy or would they kill her too? So let me know on that. Um, let's go ahead and finish the change log though. So you guys can, you know, just know what's up if you aren't following Terraria as closely as, um, you know, other people are. So that was crazy. Okay, um, you can now place weapons and tools on the craftable weapon rank. Rack. That's actually good. It's not just for show anymore. You actually put stuff on it. Um, now, it could either work like a sign, uh, not a sign, like a visu very visual piece where if you put like a pickaxe on it, the pickaxe will stand on it. Or it could act like a chest where if you click on it, stuff will pop out of there. I don't know. Clue I have no clue. I haven't created one yet. Um, added a smart cursor. This can be toggled using control and has an interface option. Smart cursor makes digging, chopping, placing, and breaking much more fast and easier. Okay. Okay. This is oh. So you can see I'm tapping it, and my cursor is actually changing between um, a, a nice leaner one to a thicker one. Uh, I don't know which one was the regular one, however, though. But yeah, it should make things more easier. Like how so? Ah, there you go. Check that out. Okay, that's really cool. So they did something like that. Huh, awkward. All right, that's pretty nice. Hmm, okay, what else we got? Wow, that was, that was, a, that was quite a fight though, guys. But yeah, I, I think the nurse um, suggestion might work out, right? If it is, I'll definitely make it right before I fight the next boss. Look at that, look at that. I'm healing from killing these guys. Oops, I was pressing control, not shift. I really wanna try the, getting the angler NPC. Uh, I'm not even sure how, I'll probably figure it out later. I mean, I think he's in the game already, but, um, Actually, no, no. Otherwise, it would have said Angler MC added, right? Anyway, what else we got? You can now craft stone letters and numbers with the heavy workbench. Oh, nice. We can add stone letters. Um, let's try one and see how it looks like. I might be able to spell something out here that looks pretty cute. So, using the heavy workshop, 
Actually, um, I think we need stone, right? Let's go ahead and see what we can make. Pretty sure it's just stone or iron, right? Let's see. Just looking, just looking. Any kinds of alphabet? I'm gonna have to scroll through. Oh, that's it, huh? Look at that. O, I, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And look, all you need is stone. I was right with that. I don't know why they would make it too difficult. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Nice. I think I might spell something out later. This is really cool. I'm glad they added that. It's really cool. Um, do I want to put the whole alphabet? Or I'm pretty much just gonna put statue. I'll put like Mobby's castle or something like that. But anyway, that's that's pretty interesting. What else do we have? Um, lizard power cells drop more commonly from enemies in the temple. What is the temple? No freaking clue. We'll find out one day. <laughs> Hopefully, if you guys don't give up on me. Um, rain is now red during blood moon. Oh, I never really thought about if it was or not. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they added it. They updated gem spark tiles to make the inner border complete. Gem spark tiles. No freaking clue. Um, you can now place coins to create coin piles. Let's try that. Coin piles, huh? Ah! Yeah, oh! We can stash my money on the ground. That's Oh, it stacks too! I hit the one on the bottom, and then it ended up falling down like sand. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you can now... Oh, wait. They added several new underground cave wall graphics. That might need a new world generation, huh? Is that thing trying to attack me or what? It's just a cardinal. Okay, it's just a bird. All right, oh, uh, clicking out really quick. Okay. Uh, most backgrounds have been updated with new textures. Once again, not sure if we need to make a new world. They replace the grass graphics for when they are surrounded. So when they are surrounded. I don't see nothing wrong with this grass here yet, but maybe it's something later on. Um, you can now find shark statues in wool gen on a flat, clean surface when creating a new world. What? Oh, wait, oh, I combined two of them together. I'm sorry. It says you can now find it. Uh, they spawn sharks when there's enough space. Shark statues. What? So the st the okay. What this thing is telling me is we can find shark statues and we can put them somewhere and they spawn sharks. Do these things have any value as well? Or because I picked them up just for the visual aspect, but do these have? Okay. So th there's a lot of stuff I want to ask you guys. First of all. And do statues besides this shark one that they have have any benefit like oh my god if i have this uh, woman statue here all the bitches gonna come to me just kidding i'm sorry but yeah anything like that and um what types okay what armor set would you recommend uh because i'm gonna you know since i'm doing things single player um definitely not gonna have any people help me out so what are some good tactics for fighting these guys and is that one nurse idea that i had is it viable? Like, I could put the nurse probably over here on top of the uh, top of that stuff over there. That sounds pretty nice. All right, what else we got? Worms now spawn when breaking rock and dirt piles. Piles, huh? Do they mean, like, just regular dirt or actual there's new piles? Grasshoppers can now be found when you cut grass. Pretty good for um, angler, for the fishing, I guess. Rainbow bricks and brick walls now go through the entire spectrum. I guess they only uh, um, glue glowed a few colors, probably. Hives are now more common. I found so many hives. All right. Um, the abomination no longer requires obsidian, crisp honey, or demon altar to be crafted, so we can craft it anywhere. And this is one I I was uh, pretty much surprised for, but they added some pixel piracy content. Um, I played pixel piracy on my channel about a few weeks ago, so it's pretty awesome that they uh, put it together. Otherwise, I would have been like, what the heck's pixel, pixel piracy? So they added a falcon blade, some pirate minions. Maybe that's what they mean. Wait, no, pirate minions. That could be just from the pirate's invasion or something like that, right? Uh, placeable sail wall sold by the pirate NPC. Oh my god, it's a pirate NPC? Placeable pixel piracy painting. Ginger variety bread item scrolling down the game will freeze a little bit all right there are several new pets including the minotaur mini minotaur there are mounts that we can oh my god oh what the there's a lot of stuff here we can we can ride on stuff was that before that's pretty awesome you can now craft couches out of silk material oh i really want to just redo my whole house and everything i mean i have so much um you know, I have so much material and resources, I can pretty much do whatever I want, huh? You can now craft uh, grandfather clocks out of more material. 
dressers and pianos have been giving uh, custom graphics. Over 100 new furniture items have been added to complete all furniture types. Wow, they added some new stuff, huh? Like maybe better tables? Because every time I play Terraria, my house has always looked the same. Uh, it looks okay. Now it's a giant square with the thing on the outside. Oh, man. All right, what else we got? <laughs> there are six new summoner weapons. Summoner, huh? You mean like summon entities? Because I, I have that one uh, blood mist thing that summons a cloud, if that types is one. All right, there are new t uh, new summoner armors. Okay. You can now craft, craft a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> really? Out of silk and ale and a torch. Jesus. The underworld and dungeons have more furniture from new creation. You can now craft gem spark walls. Okay, that's new. Okay, craft, craft, craft. La 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 la. Okay, so the rest, the rest of it's like you know music, some bug fixes, some optimization. So yeah. Um, welcome back to Terraria, guys. We're gonna have more frequent um, episodes. Sorry, it's been off. Uh, just remember, if you guys play this a lot, I don't play it a lot. So don't hate be very uh, reasonable with what you guys comment um yeah get like let your tips come across and your opinions but don't be jerks about it i'm gonna be straight up just don't be jerks about it i mean i play this game in good faith it's fun otherwise i would not even go back to it so please um consider what i just said and also tips tips um i'm thinking of doing that nursing thing but only if you guys think it's a good idea so i'm gonna also end the episode if you enjoy and leave a like it helps so much if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i upload a lot of daily videos help my channel grow by sharing it with your friends posting it anywhere you can on the internet i would really 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 appreciate it um I'm th i was also thinking of some kind of a terraria live stream where you guys could maybe maybe help with my hard mode that's just something to think about. It'd be really fun. Uh, I just hope I don't get trolls. Maybe some selective viewers who always comment or something like that. But anyway, yeah, uh, I know this episode wasn't too much action besides the boss battle going on. But this is just me getting back into the series, thinking about what we want to do next and what I have for the future of the series. So, yeah, that's it. You guys are great. And uh, seriously, thank you for supporting my channel and everything that I do. And I will see you guys next time.